Alrighty, good evening everybody, minor league baseball fans, and welcome to the show. Tonight is the final game of this four game set at Frisco Rough Riders and the San Antonio Missions. Well, tomorrow is another four game set. San Antonio will be heading off to Arkansas to face the Arkansas Travelers. Go online now and purchase and print your tickets at home. Also, follow the missions all season long with the first pitch app from Minor League Baseball. You can download that on any smartphone or Apple device. Just a few moments, we'll get ready for the starting lineups. All right, so let's go ahead and get ready for the starting lineups of tonight. Tonight. Game matchup. All right, so let's get ready for the starting lineups for the both home squads. First for the visiting San Antonio Missions. Leading off playing the first center fielder, Josh Guerrero. Guerrero at center. Batting second is the third baseman, Robert Rodriguez. Rodriguez at third. Batting third is the left fielder, Bobby Pyre. Pyre at left. Batting fourth for San Antonio is the right fielder, Edgar Ramos. Ramos at right. Batting fifth for the missions is the first baseman, Bo Duvall. Duvall at first. Batting six is the designated hitter for the missions, Alan Cordoba. Cordoba at the DH. Batting seventh is the catcher for the San Antonio Missions, Ronald Clemente. Clemente at catching. Batting eighth is the shortstop, Ernerka Her Herrera. He'll be batting eighth for San Antonio. Batting ninth is the second baseman, Roberto Luis, Luis, running out the batting order. And on the mound for the San Antonio Missions, Manuel Avales, Avales, tonight's Missions pitcher. And now here is the starting lineup for the Frisco Rough Riders. Leading off and playing the left field, Chris Perez. Perez at left. Second for Frisco is the first baseman, Corey Knight. Knight at first. Right field, Vernon Ferris will be batting third for the Rough Rider lineup. Ferris at right. Batting. Fourth is the center fielder, Brett Elbner. Elbner at center. Batting in the DH position, Jason Ozoko. Ozoko, the DH. Wesley Barnhart will be batting sixth for the Frisco Rough Riders. Batting seventh is the second baseman, Robinson McKenzie. McKenzie at second. Batting eighth for Frisco is the catcher, Lauren Wiggins. Wiggins at batting eighth. Batting ninth at the shortstop. Rounding out the batting order for the Frisco Rough Riders is the Red Flynn. Flynn. As short and on the mound for the Fritzko Rough Riders, P 
Pablo Arias. Arias tonight's Frisco pitcher, and there's tonight's starting lineups. Minor League Baseball is live and on the air on the show. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the Frisco Rough Riders and the San Antonio Missions. It's baseball. It's the show. And it comes your way next. Number 12 will be tasked with the starting pitching assignment for the away team. What do we need to know here, Danny? Well, this guy's kind of unique. How about a five-pitch repertoire that he has that gives him a lot of options for both righties and lefties, and if he's on, he could be really tough to hit. Standing in, Chris Perez, and we are set for baseball here this evening. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And the first pitch of the ball game here is taken for a cold strike one. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Fastball that he's way out in front of, a swing and a miss. Lifted into center field. Guerrero is right there, one down. And with that, here's a look at the visitor's starting lineup. Dero, what you got on this lineup tonight? Focusing on this lineup, Matt, one thing jumps out at me. They are going to have to be good at situational hitting. The guy on the opposition right now, on the bump, has been throwing the ball great. He's not going to give him anything. I know in today's game, everybody's trying to go deep, but I'm telling you, a good hit and run, taking that extra bag today, might be the difference between winning and losing. Here's the first pitch to him. A fastball right down the middle for a strike. Good night for baseball all in all. Game time temperature 63 degrees. One out, nobody on. Line towards center field. And he will make the play out there. And there are two away now. At the plate, Vernon Ferris. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. Now here's the pitch. Ball one. Lays off 1-0. and oh. The windup and the 1-0 -oh pitch. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. Hey, if he's going to be able to dot up his sinker down in a way like that all game, you are in for a situation where you're going to see a lot of ground balls and a lot of weak contact. 1-1 one, one is a cutter that misses 2-1. and one. Well, when you're behind an account like this pitcher is, it's a good time to work in something off speed if you're confident in it. Most hitters are looking for fastball. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's worked it full now at 3-2. and two. It's a fine line for working down in the zone on 2-2, two and two and bouncing one in there that basically stands no chance of getting swung at right there he basically and the throw is in time to get him to retire the side so a fairly painless top of the first so it's on to the bottom of inning number one no score Pablo Arias will be on the mound for the away team in this one what's your take on him Dan hey it's hard to have all four of your pitches on but I think if this guy can have two command of him he's going to have a really good game now at the plate Josh Guerrero it leave things off here in the bottom half of the first first pitch of the at bat on its way hit back up the middle and that finds its way through for a base hit so here in the first inning the leadoff man's aboard to kick things off hey after the leadoff knock right there you know what they say you get that leadoff guy on I don't care how it's done he usually comes around the score but let's tip our hat to the pitcher he set the tone in the top of the first retiring him in order.
Stepping in now, Robert Rodriguez. So go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. Comes set with the 0-1. Soft liner towards center. In there, a base hit. Hey, two runners on after back-to-back -back singles right there. They are in prime position to put the first run on the board right here. Bobby in now, Bobby Poirier. And he'll quickly send a line drive to center field. And that's in there. Base hit. And they're content to play station to station here as the bases are loaded now with still nobody out. Well, there's a bullet base hit right there, but you have to hold there, Kibo, to make sure that gets through and isn't caught for a line drive double play. Yeah, you have to play the game right there and respect the infield and respect the line drive. I know he wants to get a ribby for his buddy, but that's the way the game's played. Heidner is there. Let's see if they try it. And the throw comes in, and all three runners are forced to hold on with one away now. A chance now to take a look at how the home team lines up in this one. What's the key for a home win here tonight, Mark? Matty, this is going to be a fun lineup for me to watch. I get fired up watching these guys because they all have a plan. It works for them. They follow the scouting reports. They grind it out in a video room. I'm interested to see what they've come up with. Standing in now with runners in scoring position, Bo Duvall. And he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And this is on the ground to short. Could be two. And he recovers to make the play. So a run is across to score, but they do record the second out. So chalk that one up as an E6, and he really can't believe it out there. Alan Cordoba hits next. He's got a chance to add to this early lead as he'll bat with a couple of guys in scoring position. Here's the first pitch to him. Swinging a soft liner. That's in there. Base hit. And the run is in to score from second. It's a 3-0 game. Boy, talking about having ducks on the pond right there, d -Rose. I know everybody wants to hit a home run. Those are the ones you remember. But without question, Dan, two out, two RBI knocks with runners in scoring position right there, you remember these knocks. Into the box, Ronald Clemente, as he sends it on the ground to first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. So they pick up three runs on four base hits, one error in the inning, and a runner left on. We move ahead to the top of the second now. The missions lead it three to nothing. Leading off the inning, Brett Eibner, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. And that misses one and one. One, two. Ground ball left side. Rodriguez fields it cleanly. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. Okay, here's the defense for the home team. And manning the hot corner today is a guy with one of the quickest reactions in the game. That's it at third base. A step and a dive, a little bit of range, but you better be reacting, and you better be able to have some serious hands and a strong arm to get it over to first. And he checks all the boxes. Yeah. And here's a fastball called for strike one. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Poirier moves over, makes the play, and there are two gone now. Into the box now, Wesley Barnhart, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. 
called strike at the letters, 0-1. Pretty good pitch to hit there that he let go. I know it's early and they're probably wanting to run his pitch count up, but he may not get another pitch like that to swing at the rest of the game. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Now with Tara, he'll get the field today is the guy behind the dish. He controls. Digging in now, Roberto Ruiz. First delivery to him on the way. To short. And very quickly there, they're two gone to start the inning. Now batter, batter fielder, John Guerrero. Digging in for his second at bat, Josh Guerrero. He reached on a single in his first try. Here comes the first pitch. Hit on the ground toward the left. And the throw is not going to be in time as he's able to reach base safely. So frustrating, Nero. You make a good pitch and you get these guys that can run around and they're fast. You think you have an out and all of a sudden it turns into an infield single. Yeah, this is definitely part of his game, the ground attack, Dan. He's a speedster. He's going to get a ton of infield singles, and he knows how frustrated that pitcher is. He's right there. Throw on to second for the force, and the side is retired. So after the three spot last time around, he's able to bounce back and hang a zero here. We'll go now to the top of the third. San Antonio's out in front, three to nothing. So coming to the plate, Robinson McKenzie. He's the number seven hitter, but he's leading off the third after the first six guys in the lineup have been retired in order. Yeah, it's been a great start to the guy on the mound. It'll be interesting to see if they can find a way to get to this guy before he really settles in. Change up in for a strike. Avilas has become known as a starting pitcher that frequently works deep into games. The kind of guy you want on the staff when your team needs some rest because he tends to eat up innings all by himself. And he pumps the fastball by him here. One and two now. The one two. Is swung on and missed strike three. This is why it's so hard to be successful as a hitter when you fall behind in the count. One and two, you're probably expecting some sort of off-speed pitches, but when the pitcher offers up a good, hard fastball, it's pretty hard to adjust and catch up to it. And a fastball misses here to start the at-bat. It's 1-0. and oh. The wind-up and the 1-0 -oh pitch. Yanked hard, but foul to the right. the 1-1. Dribbled up the line. Rodriguez charging this one. And he'll beat the throw to first despite a fantastic effort. And that ought to be scored an infield single. Now batting, Reed Flynn. Nowhere close with the fastball to begin the at-bat. It's ball one. Wiggins leads off first with one away. A ball and a strike. A oh, double play ball to second. Four, six, three, but it's not in time, and the inning will continue. How about it? Left fielder, Chris. Striding in once again, Chris Perez. He flew out in his last at bat. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Inside. Fastball runs a bit inside here. It's 1 0. Oh. Here comes the 1 0. Oh. A high fastball is in there. Perez is a guy that can really pick him up and put him down, if you will. He's a plus runner and really uses oh, speed out. to his advantage in multiple ways on the field. Yeah, and it works for him. It works for him in a lot of ways, like you said, Matty. Hits the ball on the ground. He has the potential to beat it out. I can't tell you. And the center fielder is under it to make the catch, and the inning is over. Ready for another chance, Bobby Poirier. He singled his last time up. Left fielder, Bobby Poirier. 
First delivery to him on the way. Looped out towards short. And one gone. The right fielder, number 12. Edgar Next will be the cleanup Armas. hitter, Edgar Armas. First offering on its way. A swinging bunt out in front of the plate. And quickly, there are two away. First baseman, number 19. Bo Digging in to try Duvall. it again. Bo Duvall, 0 for 1 for him here in this one. First pitch coming, here it is. Hit in the air down the right field line. And that is off the wall, but in foul territory. Foul ball. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. McKenzie moving to his right. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. So they breeze through this half of the inning. On now to the top of inning number four. The missions lead it three to nothing. Leading off the inning, Corey Knight. And they'll need him to get something going here. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Takes a high fastball for a strike. You know, Matty, when I first broke into the league, you wouldn't see that high heater first pitch right out of the gate. But I think there's been a change in, in philosophy here. Back in the late 90s, early 2000s, guys wanted to attack you more east-west, get you leaning left-right. Now you're seeing guys attack in the philosophy more north-south. Just with launch angles and exit velocities, I think guys are afraid to throw that sinking fastball for fear that guys are just going to run their barrel into it. Not the case with the high fastball. I appreciate the moxie right there, but three fastballs at this level usually turns into a knock. Try to check it, and it's 0-1. These are the moments in the game that can sway it one way or another while you get a W or a loss right here. Lead-off man on, heart of the order coming up. Guy out on the mound has got his work cut out for him. Here comes the nothing and two pitch. Now a ball grounded to short. This could be two. There's one on to first, but not in time as he's in there ahead of the throw. Now back. Center fielder. Brett Eibner will be the next to dig in at the plate. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. You can tell this offense is getting frustrated, but this might be one you have to shower off. When a guy's locating like this, fastball at the knees and to both corners, it's going to be tough for them to do anything with it. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. On the ground to short. This could be two to second for one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. Into the box now, Alan Cordoba. He drove home two with a single in his last plate appearance. Now here's the pitch. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Legs churning. He's headed for second. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. He just tattoos this ball right here. Tried to sneak a fastball in on him? No way. Drives it to deep left center field gap, and that was a nice job to get the barrel around in time to score that baby up. Into the box now, Ronald Clemente. The short hit hard. And the throw to first is in time, one gun. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Enrique Herrera. Enrique Herrera. First pitch coming, here it is. Sent on the ground out the second. McKenzie is up with it, on to first, and there were two down. Now back. Digging in, Roberto Ruiz. Runner in scoring position with Sugan.
first pitch on its way. And he's going to deliver the run here as this is a shot into left center field for a base hit. And they'll extend their lead even further as the runs in to score from third. That makes it a 4-0 ball game. Outside of taking a ball in the seats, Dan, these were my favorite knocks to get. Two outs, man on third, and you're able to upset that entire team, including that pitcher, with a late two-out ribby knock. And so frustrating from a pitcher standpoint, Dero. You kind of, you're in trouble. You're one pitch away from getting out of some trouble. Make one bad pitch, a base hit. The inning continues, and another run batted in. The 0 1 pitch. Line to the right side. And that'll get down for a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Hey, just a nice piece of hitting right there. He's able to keep his hands inside that ball, stay square as long as possible and feed it into the opposite field for a base hit. Stepping in now, Robert Rodriguez. Liner towards second. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. And the runner will score from second. Dan, you know what? You like to see that from an offense. When you have a guy in scoring position, there's no sense in waiting around. He saw a pitch he liked right there, and he went after it. He, he did, Dero, and I think that's what most hitters do. They come up with guys on base that they can potentially drive in. They're looking for a pitch to hit, and he didn't wait around and got that bad head started. In now, Bobby Poirier as he rips it on the ground to second. He's got it. On to first, and that'll do it as they manage to not let this inning get out of hand. So it's two runs on four base hits. No errors and a couple of men left on. We played four full. San Antonio's out in front, five to nothing. Digging in the switch hitter, Jason Orozco. He's 0 for 1 thus far. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. And the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. The 1-0. It's laid off, but in there for strike one. The 1-1. Runs a bit inside for a ball. The 2 1 is ball, off the plate, up and away. Three, three, one. Three if you're ever going to see three. a position player go to the mound, it's going to be in a situation like this. Get him to relax a little bit, focus on his mechanics, and get that fastball back in the zone. Can't allow this guy to lead off the wall. Eight. Three and two. Now the payoff pitch home. And a good eye here as he takes ball four, and it's a base on balls to lead off the fifth inning. Well, he loses him there, but that's just the first walk he's given up, along with a couple of hits, so his command has been pretty solid so far. Now at the plate, Wesley Barnhart comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. Lifted the other way down the left field line. Poirier is after it. And this will wind up a foul ball. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Poirier sprinting after it. But it's over his head and it hops the wall for a ground rule double. Off the bat, it looked like that might bring their first run of the game across. But those hopes ended quickly when it hopped over the wall. Everyone gets two bases on a ground rule double, so the runner from first is forced to stay at third, and the next guy is going to have to be the one to put them on the board. Robinson McKenzie will stand in for the second time now as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. Looking at a tough pitch called a strike. He knows his strengths and weaknesses at the plate. He knows he has a cold zone away, but the bottom line is this pitcher has been able to execute to that spot. If he misses over the heart of the plate, this guy's still going to be ready. Poirier moves over. Makes the catch, but the runner from third breaks for home. And that'll put him on the board as it's now a 5-1 ball game. 
great work to do a job right there. He's not a big power bat, so he was looking to get a fly ball to the outfield and give his guy a third a chance. So striding forward now, Lorne Wiggins. He'll swing it from the left side right here. Poirier will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the second out of the inning. At the plate, Reed Flynn. Flynn. He's set. Here it comes. Now that ball's hit well. Deep down the left field line. Headed toward the foul pole. He definitely had the distance, but it winds up a foul ball. And there's ball one. The 1-1 one -one is a changeup that's looked at for a ball. You know, he was really pounding the strike zone early on, but he's kind of gotten away from that here a bit. He might just need a little reminder to attack hitters and trust his stuff. Armas is there, and that retires the side. So a run on one hit, no errors, and a man left. Home half of the fifth coming up. The missions lead it 5-1. to one. Digging in once again, Edgar Armas. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Edgar Armas. First pitch coming, here it is. Fly ball right down the line and left. And no one will track it down. High in the air out to center field. Eibner on the move, one out. Ready once again, Bo Duvall. Bo Duvall. Here comes the first pitch. Back up the middle. And that'll get on through into center, and he's got himself a one-out hit. I mean, there's no secret right now. There's a fight at the bat rack. Everybody wants up at the plate right now. They're feeling frisky. They're all pulling the trigger early, and it's working. Alan Cordoba hits next. And he puts it on the ground to second. The second for one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Four to six to three. They roll it up to get out of the jam. The three of us are back with more following this. So the lineup flips over and digging in, Chris Perez. And Dan he and his fellow top of the order hitters haven't really offered much help for this lineup so far. No, your one, two, three guys are the ones you look to to generate a lot of action. And they just haven't been up to the task so far in this one. Still time for them to turn it around, though. We'll see if it happens. Off the plate and in. It's a ball and a strike. The one, one is looked at off the plate for a ball. Now the 2-1 is looked at for ball three. Well, this has been a good job to work the count from 0-1 to 3-1, and and now he's really in the driver's seat to see a heater that he can do something with. Tough pitch to lay off, but he did, and it's ball four, so the leadoff hitter is aboard to start the sixth. Digging in and looking for more, Corey Knight. And that misses inside 1-0. and oh. All right, all you're asking for as an offense is a chance. Well, your leadoff man has certainly done his part. He's gotten on base. You have to start clawing back hey. into this game right now if you're going to find a way. Count now a ball and a strike. A 1-1. Hey. He's taken for strike two. That's how you open up the outside part of the plate. Pound two balls in, and they get right back outside. Nice pitch. Line towards center field. And that's in there. Base hit. Hey, sometimes you just got to tip your cap right there. You execute a nice pitch down in the zone, think you're going to get a ground ball or a swing and a miss, and you find yourself with a man on first. Got to regroup. First pitch fastball off the plate there, and it's ball one. No hits to this point. Drilled to the right side. And that's through into right field for a base hit. 
And the run will score from second here to make this a 5 to 2 ball game. How about it? Brett Eichner will be the next to dig in at the plate. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ball game. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. And here's a fastball that's nowhere near the zone. It's two and oh now. Boy, he better get it back together here quick because he's got two guys on already. He's starting to lose location of that strike zone. He's got to throw a strike right here. Two and oh count. Here it comes. And he swings on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. And, ooh, he's really given some leeway on the outside edge here. Two and two now. Knight over at second. Ferris on at first with nobody out. A bouncer to the left side. Scooped up. One there. On to first to complete the double play. Oh, that double play gave him a really good chance to minimize the damage here. One run has come across, but now he just has to work to strand that runner at third. Would be pretty huge if he can do that. And a fastball there is inside as that one backed him up a bit. The men on third with two down. Swing and a little blooper to center. Guerrero moving in, but he can't make the play as it finds the outfield grass. And the runner from third scores as they try and work their way back into this one. It's now a 5-3 to three ball game. Wesley. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Wesley Barnhart. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at-bat with another big hit right here. Has a look. Now the pitch. On the ground to the left side. Fielded cleanly. Throw to first in plenty of time, and his side is retired. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. Bottom part of the order, 7, 8, and 9 due up in the home half. San Antonio's out in front, 5-3. to three. Jake Castaneda enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Number 12. Ready for another shot now, Ronald Clemente. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. Leading off for San Antonio. Catch He's ready. Here's the first offering. Clemente. Bouncer up the middle. Oh, look at the sliding stop. It's there. He got him. Wow, what a great show of range there. This ball looked like it might get through up the middle, but check out the sliding stop, and that's going to take him right into a good throwing position where he's able to get enough on the throw to get him out at first. Into the box, Enrique Herrera. High fly ball after straightaway center. Eigner is right there, two gone. Now that is so digging in now, Roberto Ruiz. He's one for two in the ball game. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Now a soft liner to the right side, but foul. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Line towards center field. And that's in for his second hit of the afternoon. So that knock keeps the bottom of the sixth inning hot. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Josh Guerrero. He's looking to go four for four with a base hit right here. Here's the first pitch to him. A swing and a ground ball to third. He's got it. On to second for the force out and the side is retired. So no runs on a hit here. No errors. One man left on. Seventh inning coming up. The missions lead it. Five to three. Back here for Texas League Baseball on the show. Seventh inning straight ahead, but first let's take a look at the game summary for the first six innings of baseball. Coming to the plate now, Robinson McKenzie earned himself an RBI with a sack fly his last time at the plate. First delivery to him on the way. Back up the middle and in for a base hit. Lead-off hitters aboard, and that means the tying run will come forward here in the late innings. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. 
Now in the box, Lorne Wiggins. And Dan, what's the plan of attack here for the guy on the mound? Well, I think they have to go right after him. He's pretty unlikely to take the deep, but if you allow him to get on base, the chances of him scoring and tying this game become a lot greater. Pitch inside the throw. This one runs a little too far in, ball two. Wow, that was a decent breaking ball right there, but that's just a pitch that's a little easier to lay off of when you're opposite-handed, opposite bat. You can see the sweep of the ball coming right into you. That was a great take. And they're working the outer half here, but that one's wide for ball three. Reed Flynn, who represents the possible go-ahead run here, waits in the on-deck circle. And look out, that's in very tight, and it's ball four. So a big moment here in standing in, Reed Flynn. And he does so, representing the possible go-ahead run. One ball, no strikes to count. Runners at the corners here, nobody out. That'll be a souvenir, and the count will move to one and one. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Catch is made here in right, and here comes the runner from third. And that's going to bring in the run from third, and just like that, it's back to a one-run ball game. Now better. Stepping up to the plate, Chris Perez. One in, one out, and one on here in the inning. In there for strike one, 0-1. Oh runner at first here, one man out. This is line to left. In there, a base hit. Runner around second now, headed for third. And he is in the second base with one away as the go-ahead run. Yo! Stepping into the box, Corey Knight, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. Into the corner and slicing foul. Nothing in one count, here it comes. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. Can't imagine he comes back with a third breaking ball. That hitter looked like he timed that one up pretty well and just missed it, fouling it away. So he racks up the swinging strikeout on the breaking ball. Corey Knight goes down for out number two in the top half. Trying to hold the lead, here's the delivery. Looking at a fastball for a strike on the corner. From the belt, kicks and deals. Good changeup, and it's 0-2. He's got a chance to ring up back-to-back -back case here, and that would be huge in this situation. Two quick strikes, and now the 0-2. And he fouls this one off. Another 0-2 home. Chopped weakly to the left. Rodriguez comes up with it. Throw in time, and the side is retired. So one run on two hits, no errors, and two men left stranded. Seventh inning stretch time here at the ballpark. San Antonio's out in front, five to four. Digging in and looking for more, Robert Rodriguez. He came through with an RBI single in his last at bat. First pitch on its way. Now a ball lined toward the alley in left center. Now a dive, but he can't get there, and this is going to be trouble out there in left center. And he's going to get the second now with nobody out. When you're leading by one run, you want to do everything you can to well, add to the lead and give your bullpen a little breathing room. It makes a big difference, so double here goes a long way towards making that a real possibility. Into the box now, Bobby Poirier as he lines it out to center. And that's in there. Base hit. Nice piece of hitting right there. Didn't try and do too much. Fastball middle cut places it right back where it came from. Ready once again. Edgar Armas. Not much in the way of productivity from him so far, but he's got a chance to come through here in a crucial spot. Yeah, he, it's time now that he has to put the rest of those bats behind it because none of that matters if he can clutch up when it really counts. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. And that'll add an insurance run there from second to make this a 6-4 game now. Dan, that's a huge insurance run right there. Has to feel good as a hitter right there. 
to not only get a ribby knock, but to give your team a little bit of breathing. It, it does, and it makes your pitcher go out there with a little bit more free and easy frame of mind instead of going in a one-run game where every pitch is so important. You're one pitch away from a solo find the game up. Hold on now. That ball is down and could score a run. Riding in once again, Alan Cordova. And he's got an opportunity to turn this narrow lead into a wide one if he can cash in here. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Heading out towards shallow right. Ferris on the move. He can't get there as it falls in. And the runner scores from third as they extend their lead. Hey, d -Row, that's a big RBI right there to stretch this lead to three. It takes a lot of pressure off your pitcher going into the bottom part of the inning. Yeah, Dan, no doubt. As an offense, all you're trying to do is put your pitchers in positions to be successful. Giving them that three-run cushion has to make you feel good. Stepping in now, Ronald Clemente as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. This is line to left. Catch made in left. Here comes the runner for the plate. And not in time as the run scores. Boy, this one looked now like it was headed for extra bases off the bat. Instead, a line drive bullet caught in the alley. But he does end up getting a sacrifice fly. Standing in now, Enrique Herrera, as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. He's set. Here's the 0-1. Takes a look at a fastball down the middle for strike number two. Not looking good after being down 0-2. I think at the very least, you got to work this pitcher's count a little bit. Try and get back into a decent count where maybe you can come through. Hit in the air out to center field. Eibner is back, and he'll get there to make the play for route number two. Ow. Throw back to second, and that's a double play. So three runs on five hits, no errors, and one man left on base. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now. The missions lead it eight to four. Ready for another chance? Brett Eibner, he'll start us off in the eighth. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Ball one to start the at-bat. The windup and the 1 0 pitch. Takes a look down at the knees for a strike. Hit hard toward the right side. And that will make him one for four in this one. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. When it left his bat, I thought it might curve foul, but he manages to squeak it just inside the right field line for a well hit line drive double by the time the right field attracted down he was easily into second in now Jason Roscoe as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one he's working on a one for two game so far hit on the ground out to short Throw not in time as he's able to leg it out. How about it? Digging in to try it again. Wesley Barnhart. And it seems like maybe they're starting to get to the guy on the mound a bit now. 
Yeah, and that could be a sign that he's starting to wear down a little bit, Matt. The first thing to go when you're getting tired is usually your command. So even if you're throwing strikes, they might be a little bit more hittable than they were earlier in the game. All right, something to keep an eye on if he remains in the game much longer. Grounded back up the middle. Reined in to second for one on the first, but no, not in time as he really took a tumble at second base, letting go of that ball. And kids, this is why you always go hard into second base. Could have been an easy double play ball, but the slide really impacts the throw to first, and they wind up only getting one out on the play. Good, aggressive, legal slide that time. Robinson McKenzie comes on with one away as he looks at a ball. It's 1-0. Oh. The 1-0 oh is looked at for ball number two. Runners are at first and third, one away. And here's a ball hit in the air. But this will land out there just foul. Now a chopper to first might only get one. Fielded cleanly. Throw to second will be in time, but the run's going to come in and score. On to first, but not in time. He beats it out to keep the inning alive, and the run is in to score. Well, they really didn't have a shot at turning two on the high chopper. They only get one, and that allows the runner from third to score. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. Here comes the 0-1. A fastball that just misses inside. McKenzie is off of first with two away. Belt high and right down the middle for a strike. Wow, not sure what you're looking for right there, but that one was pretty much middle, middle, center cut. Tough pitch to take. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Well, all of the umpires in the seats thought that would strike three, and they weren't far off, but I think that was a good call. Looked to be just a bit outside. Here now the 2-2 is laid off, and the count runs full. Good running count right here. Three balls, two strikes, two outs, run, run first. He'll be off to the races on this pitch. Another full count pitch home. Liner in there for a base hit. So now they'll have two men in scoring position following the two-out double. Standing in is the potential tying run, Reed Flynn. But a single here could reduce the deficit to only one. And that misses low and away, ball one. This is a critical point right here. Things are in danger of getting away from him a little, so we'll see how he deals with it. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. The 2-0 on the way. Too tight with that one. 3-0. Well, he really needs to make this guy swing the bat right here. He's not the type of hitter you want to dance around with. And he takes ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole in getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. So the lineup flips over and digging in, Chris Perez. And after that quick walk, is it fair to wonder if this starter is beginning to show some oh, And meanwhile, this pitch rides too far in and winds up hitting him. Oh, and we were just speculating after the walk to the last guy about if he was starting to get tired out there, and now he loses the handle on a pitch and plunks this guy. I just think he's running into a wall at this point. Corey Knight is in with two away as he takes a ball, 1-0. Big spot. Two out, possible tying, and go-ahead runs on base. The 1-0. And here's the ball lifted high into foul ground down the right field line. But no chance to run it down. It's a foul ball. The 1-1 is a fastball that misses. Well, when the pressure starts to intensify, it often feels like the strike zone gets harder and harder to hit. This is a big spot here. Uh, and this could be trouble now. It's three and one. Oh, and it misses ball four, and that will force home a run. And you can tell by his body language that he's beyond frustrated by that call. 
He's got to be wondering what he's got to do, but the last thing he needs to do is to let it get under his skin. That will only make things worse. And that finds the target. Nothing in two now. Hey, that's a huge pitch for him right there. He's been struggling early. If he's able to get any feel on his secondary stuff, he might be able to hang around a little. To one and two now. Ready to deliver the one and two. Ball two. This is a huge pitch right here. I don't think he wants to go three two and have those runners be in motion. Look for him to be aggressive with what he thinks is his best pitch right now. Liner towards second. And that will get down as he delivers a big one here. It's a base hit. The runner from second crosses the plate. It's now a 9-8 to eight contest. You know, it's awfully difficult to score oh, runs late in the game. After being down by one, Dero, that base hit drives in two. That's a huge base hit. What a momentum swing. What an A-B right there. Now you got to grab your leather and go out and flash some D for the boys. Brett Eidner is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one. Looking to keep this a one-run game, the pitch. And this is high, a ball and a strike. Here's the 1-1. One -one. Yeah. Big curveball right down the middle for strike number two. I know to the fans that probably looked like something good to hit. But unless you're sitting breaking ball right there, I don't care if it's middle of the plate. That's a tough one. This one gets through, and that could bring in a run. And a big RBI there as the run scores from second to make this a two-run game now. Throw to the plate, goes right by him. And on the play, the runner moves into scoring position now at second. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Jason Orozco is looking for hit number three here in this at-bat. One ball, no strikes to count. Ferris at third, Heidner at second with two gone. Swung on and missed, outclassed by that fastball for a strike. I can't imagine he was sitting on fastball at his neck right there. He is going to have to lower his sights if he's going to have any chance. Cold strike on the inside, and he can't believe it at the plate. It's one and two now. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Pulled toward right center field. Guerrero is after it, makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. So a great inning there as they bat around to score six times to open up the lead. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. The Rough Riders are out in front, 10 to 8. Your attention, please. Now pitching for Frisco, number 11, Rene Zarate. Leading off the inning, Roberto Ruiz, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a boop and a blast? They could certainly use that right now. No balls and a strike to count. Line toward right center. Oh, and this kicks right off of him. Hey, Dero, not a bad night. Three singles, but hey, you'll take three for four every day of the week. Yeah, in today's day and age, Dan, where everything's a homer, a walk, or a strikeout, it's refreshing to see this guy throw out three base hits. Into the box, Josh Guerrero. And he'll quickly send a line drive to center field. But this is unfortunately right at him in center field as he takes it in for the first out. Now back. Ready for another shot now, Robert Rodriguez. He'll look to keep it going three for four so far in the ballgame. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Out in front as he rolls over it to second. And he has some trouble with it. Stepping up now, Bobby Poirier. He's two for four in the ballgame. 
First pitch coming. Here it is. That's lifted the other way out to left. Perez giving chase. He dives, but he can't make the play. And this one hops over the wall for a ground rule double. Wow, if that ball stays in the park, we've definitely got ourselves a tie game. But it hops over, and the runner has to go back to third. That's a bad break. And now they'll have to find another way to get this game tied. Into the box now. Edgar Armas smoked the other way. High and deep to left. Perez racing back at the track on the warning track he makes the catch and he's in at third base safely so the go-ahead run is right there with two gone that was a really good at bat right there you're trying to tie this thing up any way that you can he hits the sack fly to the outfield and the tying run comes in to score digging in once again Bo Duvall Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Grounded to short. Flynn right there. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. Ninth inning coming up, and we are all even at 10 apiece. Digging in the switch hitter, Wesley Barnhart. He's one for four for the game. Wesley. First pitch of the at bat. Sent on the ground out to second. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Now batting, Robinson McKenzie. Here's the pitch. First pitch here misses wide, 1 0. Bases are empty, one man out. And that one just missed outside. Now the 2 0 home. Line to the right side, but that's a foul ball. He wasn't fooling anybody with that fastball. He barreled it up nice right there. He's just got to find a way to keep it fair. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. Can't find three the ball. zone there, and it's three and one. Lorne Wiggins is on deck. Hey. And he drops a change in on him there, and that'll run it full three and two. One out, nobody on. Oh, and there's the good curveball as he's set down on strikes for the second time here tonight. Now Stepping into the box, Wiggins. Lorne Wiggins. Two hits and three at-bats for him in this one. Oh, and look out as this runs in and gets him. The second man he's plunked in this one. Well, he might be feeling a little bit of a sting there, but he could take comfort in knowing that he represents the go-ahead run. That could turn out to be a huge hit by pitch. Digging in, Reed Flynn. There are two gone and the possible go-ahead run at first. Here's the first pitch. Looks at a changeup on the inside corner for a strike. Two out with the possible go-ahead run at first. Late decision to swing that time, and as a result, it's 0-2. This is what makes him so dangerous as a pitcher. Five left. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. So nothing doing here after the six-run outburst the inning before. Sixth, seventh, and eighth place hitters scheduled to start the bottom of inning number nine. And we are all even at ten apiece. Tom Glover comes on to work on the mound, hoping to send this one into extra innings. For the plate now is the designated hitter, Alan Cordoba. It was an RBI single for him in his last plate appearance. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Line drive to center field. And that's another base hit for him. He's on a tear in this one. So the leadoff man is aboard to start out the inning. 
leadoff base hit to start the bottom of the ninth inning right here. Everybody in the dugout on their feet, top stepping it. We're going to see if he works a bunt, hit and run. I don't know. Maybe he's swinging for the gap and he gets to be the hero himself. Standing in now, Ronald Clemente. Eibner is to his left as he puts it away in the alley for the first out of the inning. At the plate, Enrique Herrera has got a chance to end this one and send these fans home happy if he can get a ball deep enough into the gap. Line drive to left. Oh, and this deflects right off him. Throw comes in quickly, so the winning run advances to second now with only one away. Don't sleep on the bottom of the order right there. He broke out all ambush. First pitch fastball, middle in. He was able to drive that for nice. In now, Roberto Ruiz. And he's a bit tardy there on the first pitch fastball. It's nothing in one. The winning run at second. However, the double play in order here. The 0-1. Rounded down the third baseline. A step on the bag for one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. So they can't get that winning run home. And that means we'll have to go a little longer tonight to find a winner. Tenth inning coming up. And we are all even at ten apiece. So striding in, Chris Perez. He'll be the one to start things out as we begin the tenth. First offering on its way. That's the a fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. I'm sure he's frustrated by that call. Probably could have been a strike, but at the same time, earning strikes from the umpire is a real thing. If you've been all over the place like he has, you're ball. just not going to get much help from the umpires. Three and oh to him now. From the windup, the three oh pitch. And possibly an interesting development here. It's a leadoff walk to begin the frame in extra innings. In now, Corey Knight. Go ahead run at first. Nobody out. Now a bunt attempt here. Throw won't get him. Ready now, Vernon Ferris coming off the clutch. Two run single his last time up. Here's the first pitch. Now a bunt attempt here. Well, this is foul for the first strike. The 0-1. Showing bunt, but he winds up taking ball one. The 1-1. It's going to be a sacrifice attempt as he gets it down. Throw on the first, so the sacrifice is successful. Brett Eichner will be the next to dig in at the plate. And he could very well get the intentional pass here as that would set up a potential double play ball that might keep the game tied. And that will fall as he comes through. It's a base hit. And the go-ahead run will score from third as they've taken the lead here in the late going. Boy, those have to feel really good, d -Row. You get late in the game, you come up with a big RBI base hit right here to give your team the lead. Yeah, no one remembers that ground ball with eyes in the top of the second inning. You want to show up when the game is on the line. Can you quiet your emotions down, take the crowd out of it, and slow yourself down enough to come through? And that's exactly what he did. Runners are at the corners with one man out. And the changeup is way low that time. The intent with that changeup away was one thing and one thing only. Get a double play ball. Nice job to lay off it at the plate, though. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. And look out. That's the third batter hit by a pitch, and this could become a big problem. How about it? You always want to see the curve break a lot, but this one breaks a little bit too much. Comes all the way across the plate and nicks the batter. And he gets ahead 0-1. Oh and one delivery. 
And there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner. A fastball down near the shoe tops. Knight on third. Eigner on second. Orozco the first one gone. <laughs> Hitting guys back to back? Umpires don't have much patience for that kind of thing, whether it's intentional or not, and neither does the team that's getting plunked. Into the box, Robinson McKenzie. And the first pitch misses to him. It's ball one. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. Fouled away. Bases are loaded with only one out. And this is swung on and missed. A huge out there as the bases will stay loaded with two away now. That's the third time in this game he's gone down on strikes. Not the game he was hoping to have when he was taking batting practice, but at least his guys are ahead. In there, no balls and a strike. Set to deliver the 0-1. On the ground, up the middle. And he will deliver one of the biggest at-bats of the night. It's a base hit. And the second run will score as well. Dan, from a pitcher's standpoint, that's a backbreaker. Two out, two RBI base hit right there. Awfully frustrating. You're trying to make some good pitches, get two outs, and all of a sudden give up that big base hit that drives into frustrating for a pitcher. Softly hit out to short. And this will be pulled in easily for the final out of the inning. Nine men come to the plate for score. So now we'll see if these guys can get even in the bottom of inning number 10. The Rough Riders lead it 14 to 10. Leading off the inning, Josh Guerrero. And they'll need him to get something going here. Third baseman in tight protecting the bunt, the first pitch. Hit well down the left field line, but back into the crowd foul. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Hard hit ball, caught down there at third. Boy, you talk about the hot corner. That's not what you want to see when you're in tight, but he gloves it for the first out. Riding in and working on a terrific performance in this one, Robert Rodriguez. And we'll see if he can put together a rare five-hit performance here. Throw gets him two down. The batter, left fielder, Bobby Poirier. Into the box now, Bobby Poirier. He's got three hits, including a double to this point. First pitch coming, here it is. Turned on down the line. That's through for a base hit, and he's putting together a monster line in this one. They just can't get him out. He was able to recognize that pitch early. His eyes lit up on that one. Able to pull it down the line for a nice base hit. Into the box now. Edgar Armas. Line drive to center field. Eigner is there to make the catch, and with that, the ball game is over. Wow, that was a fun one to watch. A great game for guys with the sticks, but for pitchers, not so much. A classic slugfest, and they walk away on top in the end. 14 to 10, the final posting in this one. The Frisco Rough Riders used a huge eighth inning to help secure the win. Tom Glover pitches well enough to get the W. Manuel Avilas takes the loss after an effort he'd like to forget for the rest of his life. So that'll put a wrap on things here this evening. For my partners, Dan Plezak and Mark DeRosa, I'm Matt Baskersian. This has been a special presentation of MLB The Show. For more, follow us on Twitter at MLB The Show. And so tonight was a embarrassing defeat as the San Antonio Missions had a four run loss. Well, tonight the Frisco Rough Riders held the comeback as they came back in the ball game. At the top of the fifth, they had one. And top of the sixth, they had two. And top of the seventh, they had one. And look at the top of the eighth inning. Six runs batted in. That is remarkable. But anyway, it was a ball game.
Well, tomorrow the San Antonio missions continue to be on the road as they go to Arkansas to face the Arkansas Travelers for a four game set. And after that, they will get ready to face the Naturals. And then Midland after. And so this will just be about the wrap and stuff for the San Antonio missions tonight. The losing pitcher for San Antonio is Maniel Avales. And also the missions will have the umpires and everybody held accountable for tonight's loss. And most likely not switching out the pitchers as this was a devastating loss to the missions. The Frisco Rough Riders took the win 14 to 10, our final score for the night. Well, anyway, this will just about do it for everybody here at Minor League Baseball, the show. We hope y'all enjoyed tonight's run. Hits and errors. 14 runs for the Frisco Rough Riders, 10 for San Antonio. And also, it is already that time to close out this game and hope that we see y'all again tomorrow. Well, anyway, this will just about do it for the show. We'll see y'all tomorrow for the San Antonio Missions taking on the Arkansas Travelers in Arkansas. So, everybody have a good night. We'll see y'all again tomorrow for more The Show 18.